So in this video, we're actually going to tie some relationships together. Um, we want to, you know, as I said earlier, we, we want to make these work out. Right now, everything's starting on the same day, so it's not going to take long to do this project. Uh, at the very most, 15 days, right? Um, so what we want to do is we want to um, uh, make relationships with these. And the easiest thing to do is to just come over to the right side where, where you have your bar chart. And if you move your mouse around, you get all kinds of little things that pop up here. Uh, you'll see um, uh, like a little, I don't know what this is called, but an arrow that goes kind of jogs down. It's a, it's a you know dark filled in arrow. Uh, and then you have your little hand, which doesn't do what you want it to do. And then you have the little white arrow that goes left to right. So we want the one that has a little black. Uh, I know in SureTrack it used to be like a little black pitchfork. And, I like that symbol a lot better. It's kind of easier to explain, right? Um, but what we want to do is make relationships with this. And if you come up here to the top, you'll see where this, that's what this button does here that makes relationships. So we, usually that's pressed down when you start coming over here to, uh, to do that. So what we want to do is just some basic start to start relationships or uh, start to finish, I'm sorry, um, where, uh, where um, or finish to start rather. I'm, I'll get it right here eventually. Uh, but we're finished to start where site work goes down into foundations. So in other words, foundations start when site work is done. Okay, so mouse over to the end of site work uh, to where you have that little black arrow. You're going to click, hold, and then as you hold, you see how it's almost like there's a little spider web attached to um, my mouse here. So I've got my mouse pushed down, click, hold, and come over here to the to the front of foundations. Now if you notice, if I mouse over towards the rear, the blue arrow goes into the back of it. Well, we don't want that. We want the blue arrow to go into the front. And then once I get it there, I'm gonna let go, okay? And so now I have this uh, start to start, or finish to start relationship. But you may have noticed that nothing moved, right? Um, and so we, what we have to do is we have to go up to this little clock looking thing up here. And if you mouse over it, it says schedule. Okay, so I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna click that button. It says projects is scheduled, one, current data, you know, it kind of shows some of this information and I'm just gonna hit schedule. Okay, and it goes through a little process and boom, it just kind of moved this out here for me and you'll notice it turned it from green to red. Uh, and that's because now it is considered a critical path because it's one of my, my longest activities. So now I wanna take a finish of foundation. So I'm gonna get to the end of foundations till my little black arrow pops up. I'm gonna click hold, pull that down to the front of rough ends and let go. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna just keep doing the same thing from the end of rough ends to the beginning of interior finish, from the beginning of interior finish to the beginning of exterior finish, exterior finish, and then to the punch list. And you'll notice nothing ever happened here so I'm going to go back up to schedule. I'm going to hit schedule again, and it pops everything down um, in order here. Now you can see it's a finish to start. When site work gets done, foundation starts. When foundations get done, the rough ends start, and so on and so forth. Okay. Um, I'm going to have another video that deals with calendars, and so you'll get an idea of why there's like a little space right here between site work and foundations, and as well as uh, rough ends and interior finish. I'm sorry, that's foundations and rough ends, and then rough ends and interior finish, and that's because that's a weekend. Um, pretty much anywhere where you see these sight lines, you see these vertical and horizontal sight lines, the vertical ones represent a work week, okay? The ones going up and down typically are every five activities, and so if I come over here, I see one, two, three, four, five. So there's five activities going this way and this way. So this information will come in handy when you start doing your module exercises. Those are some of the basic questions you'll have to answer on that. Um, and so right now, if you look at the very top, this black line that comes across, this is actually your project management. Now you'll remember this from when we you know, do this stuff by hand. We have a project management. And so it's saying from the start to the finish is April, um, April 18th, 2016. Okay, so it's kind of showing me my project management as far as how far that is. And if you come over and look on here, it'll give me a duration, okay, of 46 days. So if I was to do the math calculations, remember the early start, early finish, late start, late finish, total float. 
If I was to physically do those calculations for each one of these activities, it would come up to a maximum of 46 days. Okay, and then if I was to do it backwards, it should obviously come back to zero. But um, that kind of shows you where the calculations come in. But um, so anyway, very simple. It does this for you, which you know, doing the calculations is good to do up front. But then you know, the computer will uh, kind of check that out for you. The thing is, you'll notice as we go along, and we actually have more and more relationships to different activities. Like right here. It's just every activity only has one relationship, you know, one predecessor and one successor, basically. And, um, and it's very simple. When we start doing multiple relationships, um, you're going to see a little bit more change. And then that's where you'll have to double check your hand schedule to, um, to make sure everything fits in. Um, speaking of predecessors and successors, if you do come down here, like if I click on foundations and I come down to predecessor, um, it says A100 site work. So in other words, a predecessor, someone that comes before or precedes it, um, is the, um, the uh, site work, which if you look up here, before foundations is site work. And if I click on successors, then that means after foundations is rough in. So you can kind of see how that, uh, that ties in with that. So uh, just a real quick video how to do some real basic relationships here. And uh, I hope this one just gave you another installment. And uh, we'll be back more with, uh, I want to do another video for a calendar and I'll show you that as well.